so you know this is um uh, this year has been really interesting with all the covid um especially you know getting to to guinea conakry traveling to guinea conakry um going through the test going through you know getting your test your flight being delayed uh, waiting in one airport for so long um, coming in here and then having one or two disappointment people promising they'll do things and they don't come through and and you give them a lot of money expect them to deliver and when you come here it's um it's just words but it's it's a good experience i know there's a lot of people on youtube and and around the world saying that don't give money to africa don't especially your family members because they're gonna eat it you know i think we all eventually from the diaspora gonna experience some type of hardship or some type of challenging um scope or, or understanding from your family members you know um <laughs> It's just one of those things you have to accept it um you know it's it's good to learn and and uh, unfortunately you do need to have some type of mindset um slightly different from the diaspora um, if you do come here with 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 the mindset you have it will be very challenging for you but again at the same time i don't think you should take it as malice these guys are doing it out of hatred for you or they doing it because to them they 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 have a totally mindset you know they they think money is is so easy in europe once you're there you've kind of made it you know life is so good in europe um but they don't know that some of the challenges that you yourself are facing in in the dice you know in in other countries especially like in america and europe um but in all fairness, I think these are the things you have to accept. You can't really get too angry. I know some people get bitter and then and lose their cool and get really upset. Um, but it is what it is. If you if you have a long term plan and your goal is to stay in Africa or you you have an ambition or mission to be in Africa, then the best thing to do is you know take your time. You know. Um, I wouldn't like to say don't trust anyone here because everybody situation and and plans are different. There are some good people and there are some bad people, you know, and it's just one of those things, you know. I don't want to sit here and say to you, man, these people are bad. Don't give them money. Don't do this, don't do that. I mean, that's up to you. You you have to uh figure out your own risk management what type of the level of risk and the level of 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 understanding and and stuff like that you have you know but for me it's it's been really a good lesson um is how do i transition from 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 a tourist perspective or a tourist mindset to to someone who lives here i think for me that that is the next stage and next challenge i'm trying to do I know some of you might think hey this is really easy but you come here you kind of have a little bit of a tourist mindset um but if you're going to if you have plan to live here in the long term you know then you need to shift that mindset and sometimes it's good to have the environment the people that are living around you you need to kind of have understand their mindset and and see how they think and how they behave um but it is what it is i i believe that you should come to africa if you if your if your parents are from africa or if you if you never been to africa come to africa i would highly um recommend guinea conakry you know um maybe i'm a little bit biased um even though i'm from kind of sierra leone you know um I've been to Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is nice. It's very um it's an interesting place, but I think Guinea is big. If you really have big ambition, Guinea is massive. And also the same thing in Sierra Leone. You know, Sierra Leone is massive. I like these little islands that they have in in Guinea, the Soro 
and it is at the Casa Island. You know, look how beautiful they are behind me. Um, yeah, enjoy Guinea, come to Guinea and, and enjoy the show. That's what it's all about, you know. Um, hi guys, well, it's another video for you for the day. So today is, is the 31st, you know, so I'm actually out here enjoying a little bit of sun with one of my close friends. Um, you know, we're, we're just chilling here a little bit and then we'll go back. So yeah, do come here um, before you go to any grand hotel uh, or any hotel you're staying at. Come here and relax and enjoy the show. It's a beautiful little island, as you could see. It's, it's not a lot of people here, um, maybe because I'm here on the 31st. Um, so yeah, just come and enjoy it. You know, I would highly recommend this little island. <laughs> if you make sure you learn it, you know a little bit of French, that would help you in the long run. You know, 